Hello, um, my name is Henry DeShazo. Um, today is January 12th, 2018. It's like uh, a little after 3 a.m. I'm basically recording this because of some strange, something I feel is very strange that happened yesterday on the 11th um, uh, between myself and the apartment complex or the, the management at the apartment complex that I live in. Uh, in Bermuda Dunes, California. Uh, it's called Marabella is the name of the property. Um, I'm not going to say my address right now. Anyway, the odd thing was yesterday morning, um, probably a little after 9 a.m., I went into the um, office to get some coffee. Actually, it was a little bit after 9 a.m., probably closer to 10 I went into the office to get some coffee, and then I also went over to speak to one of the property uh, agents, I don't know what they call themselves, but one of the staff that works here. Somebody I've, I've spoke to on numerous times before, I think your name is Marcy Macy. Macy. I asked her, basically I, was, my, I had concerns about my dog um, who's getting elderly and she's having trouble going up and down the stairs. So I popped in to get some coffee and then I asked Macy about what it takes, you know, um, how much does it cost and what does it do to the lease if I move to a downstairs apartment. She gave me some preliminaries, said she'd keep an eye out and then let me know about when they open up and, you know, similar floor plans. And that was that. That was yesterday, early yesterday morning, well, early opposed to now a couple hours later actually several hours later i was out with my dog i was walking her through some um uh, one of the big fields near one of the pools when two of the property management staff approached me with a letter now in this letter um basically before they handed it to me uh it was obviously folded up and in an envelope so i you know hadn't opened it yet they handed it to me and said listen you know we need to let you know that there's a problem with the dog and and you know um you do have laminate floors and you know maybe you know stop playing with the dog it's a little loud or something similar to that um you know i'm, I'm walking the dog so i'm kind of half listening kind of not wait okay well all right I'm thinking she's going to tell me about a property that's, uh, you know, one of the other lower apartments, um, up there, or downstairs apartments that maybe I could move into, like, that quick. Okay. Anyway, she gives it to me. She tells me all that about um, the noise, and I say, okay, well, what specifically? Because, you know, I'm, you know, is it is it playing around upstairs or, yeah, or is the dog barking outside or what's the complaint so I can address it well we'll find out blah, blah, blah. so anyway I go home I take a look at the letter and firstly I see three day notice to perform conditions and or covenants or quit so this is a three day notice to either do this or get out basically so, conditions, animal addendum, section seven. Before I go on to that, number two. So, these violations regularly disturb residents, whether inside or outside, please see attached. Okay, so let me look at the attached animal addendum, number seven. Number seven. Disturbance. Residents will be asked to remove any animal that regularly disturbs residents, whether inside or outside. Is there a problem or obstruct? Basically, hours after I asked if I could move my, you know, move down to a downstairs apartment because my dog is getting too elderly to come upstairs, I'm handed a notice saying I either have to give up the dog or move out within three days based on her regular disturbance. 
This is the first time I've ever heard of any complaint regarding my dog or myself in any kind of noise fashion at all. So I'm just recording this today to make sure that there's a record before I go and talk to these people and find out from their staff and their management exactly what is the problem and how it can be addressed without going to such heavy-handed lengths. Again, this is now January 12th, 2018, probably 3.07 a.m., so it's only taken me about seven, eight minutes to record this video. Um, I'm just doing this ahead of time before I go and speak to these people because it's an awfully strange coincidence that this would happen on the day, the hours after the, I ask if I can move downstairs. It's just so bizarre.